But we are back here on the main stage at RCTV's coverage of the Reading Falls Street Fair. My name is Kevin Vent. This is Laura Crook, and we are privileged to have a candidate for the 6th Congressional, Congressional District in Massachusetts, Richard Tessay, with us here today. Nice Thank to you. meet you here today. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. So you've uh, been walking around the street fair. Uh, anything? What's your uh, most your favorite part of the street fair today? Well, you know what? I, I'm hungry, so I'm going <laughs> to <laughs> eat some of the food on the way. And I've been coming to this uh, for quite a while um, sure. when I represented the town, and it's nice to see how it's grown mm -hmm. like a little larger every year and you have more vendors and more organizations participating and I think it's a really good thing to bring out the community and um, to you know really uh, help um, build community spirit I understand town. you had the opportunity to uh, give the prize for the car show also along with Charlie Baker is that correct okay. no I didn't do that oh, I thought I thought no, I'd heard I, that okay. I would have liked to though that okay I thought I'd heard that somebody I'm sorry. would have been happy with <laughs> <me>. <laughs> Um, so as you are entering or um, kind of d during this campaign, I know that campaigns have a lot of challenges, but what is your favorite part about campaigning for office? I really like meeting people. Mm -hmm. And um, so I got to meet 100,000 people before November. <laughs> so I got to meet a lot. <laughs> but um, I like to um, really meet people and listen to people. Um, and when you listen to people, you find out that there are extraordinary people who live here in Reading and throughout the district. And you also hear some of the issues and problems that they're having. And um, you know, I've always tried to be, been a problem solver when I was in the legislature. And I want to bring people's concerns from here to Washington. And most people, you know, who are watching TV and just, you know, reading the newspapers, have a general sense that something's seriously wrong in our country, mm -hmm. and the country's headed in the wrong direction. And you know, I, I represented Reading for 20 years in the state senate. And I always tried to be um, very uh, grassroots in the sense that, you know, I always try to have my finger on the pulse of what people in Reading were thinking and what they wanted and try to, you know, try to bring that to the state house when I voted on things and try to get things done. And that's what we need right now is we need some people down there who are more connected, I think, with their mm -hmm. communities and who, who put their love of country first before their love of party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, how, how do you anticipate trying to uh, strengthen that bond between the Congress in Washington and the people here back in, in the 6th District? Well, again, I think we should clean house down there right <laughs> now on both sides of the aisle, probably, and just bring some new people in who have a different perspective on things. And, you know, my professional life, I'm a real estate agent, and I deal with uh, very emotional buyers and sellers and <laughs> obstacles in the middle. Really? They're emotional. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, you know, you try to remove the obstacles and bring people sure. together, and that's what I do professionally, and that's what I did at the State House as well and I really do think that um, you know if you have people who love the country more than party and are willing to put party aside um, we have some big challenges and people have to start working together or we're going to be in a lot of trouble and I think most people sense right sure. now we're you know we're, we're sort of about to go off a cliff so that you know that's why I want to do this and I think um, you know the, the district's huge people in Reading know me which is great um, from having served before, but uh, there are 39 communities all right. together and uh, about 770,000 people. So mm -hmm. usually what I'm doing is just going around and just introducing myself and, and talking to people you know, about my background sure. and, and what I want to do. Obviously, as you mentioned, there are a lot of different issues facing our country at this time. Mm -hmm. If you had, and I, and I know this is hard to do, but if you had to pick one or two, what do you see as priorities for Congress to be working um, on um, in this next session? What I hear the most from people, again, is jobs and the economy. Mm -hmm. And the economy isn't creating the type of jobs that you need to live, work, and raise a family here in Reading or this region the way it used to uh, years ago. And the reason why that's happening is because there are just so many regulations and so many taxes and you know, so many disincentives for people to, sp mm -hmm. particularly small businesses, to hire people and to, you know, take a risk. And I, I think that um, some of those bad bills that have been passed and some of the over-regulation that's taken place should be, you know, it needs to be balanced uh, on a pendulum and, and you know, to um, help people become confident again, um, to, you know, to take risks, to hire people, and that's the number one thing. And then the country is $17 trillion in debt. Mm -hmm. And I saw the other day uh, a statistic that said that uh, every kid who's born today um, owes $53,000 mm -hmm. towards the $17 trillion debt. And that's no way to start you know, a life for, sure. uh, for kids. And you know, the most interesting thing is every group I speak to, I'll always say to people in the room, you know, raise your hand if you have kids or grandkids. And everybody does. And then I'll say, well, raise your hand if you think your kids and your grandkids are going to have the same standard of living, you know, um, job opportunities, educational opportunities right. that you've had during your lifetime. 
and nobody ever raises their hand. That's interesting. And I think that's, that that's really symbolic. It's I very think, telling. Telling yes. of what's yeah. going on in the country. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, great, great points, great <laughs> thoughts. Um, do you have any, um, do you have any plans for the rest of the fair? Well, I'm here today. Um, I'm here probably for another couple hours, mm -hmm. and then I'm heading up to North Andover, and I'm going to try to get some lunch. Uh, <laughs> why I'm here, I'm smelling everything over here, and it, oh, uh, yes. it's, it's, it's pretty good. And I just want to meet a lot of people. Um, I have a lot of, um, this is kind of nice to be in Reading because people know me, and sure. I have a lot of, um, friends that have made over the years and it's kind of nice to reconnect to people and, and it's great to see um, the studio so active and so yeah. many people here. Uh, you know, it looks like you have some new equipment <laughs> and, and you're really on a good roll. Well, I was so going to mention, I mean, you've always been a big supporter of community access television. Yes. I just didn't know if you had a word or two about why you think uh, community access television is important. It gives you such a great opportunity, um, not in a sound bite or a snippet, mm -hmm. but really for people to get to know you. And I ran a cable show every month for almost 20 years yeah, when, when I was you were a state the senator, the senator I remember that. and I'd always, whatever issue was hot at the time, I would sort of I'm explain sure. why I voted the way I did, and I'd be in the supermarket and somebody would come up to me and say, hey, I saw you on Reading you know, Public <laughs> Access, <laughs> and it makes people very accountable, <laughs> and, um, you know, and it's the best, w it's a really good way to reach people. Well, so my, my hope would be is uh, when you're in Congress, you can do some of that same kind of thing again. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I understand how important this is. And um, for anybody out there watching, support the uh, local um, Reading Public Access Station because um, you get a real wealth of, um, I guess, inclusiveness and, and sense of community out of it. Sure. So definitely, so definitely. So thanks for having me. All right, well, yeah, thank you for thank visiting you. us here thank today you. at and the Street Fair. Thank very you for nice continuing to, to be a friend of RCTV. Thank you. All right, very thank nice you very to much. See you too. This has been Richard Tissay. He is running for Congress in the 6th District here in Massachusetts. The primary is coming up on Tuesday and, of course, general election in November.